All right, Nick Clooney. Now, this is kind of weird because you're normally interviewing Absolutely. people. Absolutely. I want you I, to think about that, too. You know I, mean? <laughs> I want to think about Don't that. be nervous. Maybe Don't be you nervous. should interview just, me. No. Just relax. I am a little Take nervous. You're an right. icon. I grew up watching you, but with, you know, it was BC, it was before cable. Yes, and I'm the best known unknown newsman in the United States <laughs> of America. Channel 12, WKRC, you Absolutely. and I were Joe. Absolutely. Oh, it was yeah. fun. Great times. All right, now, instead of me asking you questions about, I could ask you a billion questions. Okay. What, what do you want to talk about? Come on. I've never asked anybody that. I want to talk about my retirement plan, <laughs> and I want you to know that I'm, I'm not happy with You're it. Not happy no, with and it. I want you to talk to somebody uh, in Washington uh, or any place that you know that can take care of my IRA. Would you? <laughs> I can do okay, that. thank you. That's all I want to talk about. Yeah, actually, it was nice my, talking to you. Nice and talking to you. Nick Clooney, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Go to Doe. Right. And you know, my 401k, like a lot of folks, is now 101k, so I can, <laughs> yes, I can relate to that. That's right, and you're getting pretty close to retirement, too. I'm you know. getting up there. Watch it, Nick. Watch it. I told him how old I was right before. Hey, listen. And lots to talk about. I mean, the KRC days, and you're here in town, the Miami Valley, kind of a homecoming. I love this place. You know, I come up here often uh, for the aviation museums and oh, yeah. things yeah. over there, and also for the Peace Prize. Oh, yeah, the Peace Prize. And I, right here in the same theater. Right. And uh, I get up here as often as I can. It's a great town. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, you are still active, and what are you, 50 now? What are you? I am, let's see, I have pants that are 50. <laughs> I am. I'm 77 years Come old. On, for a crime. That's only, exactly right. Well, that's that's double seven in in Vegas. That's pretty good. That's, that's good numbers. That's yeah. good odds too. What keeps you going? What are you, why are you doing all this? You Poverty. Don't have to. Poverty. Oh yeah. <laughs> the retirement yeah. plan. I'm telling you, the IRA's gone, so I have to keep working. Now, here I am. All right. Well, what's now? You got. I'll tell you what. And you got to be proud of yourself because you know you've got this huge career and you're still going strong. And, but you give back and you do so much as your family does. Well, why not? You know, that's, uh, of course we do. Uh, yeah, and I am uh, so pleased to still be working. Isn't it great? Somebody will actually pay me sometimes to come out and do this. When my wife found that out, that was the worst moment of my life because now she has me out all the time. I'm ever, my Lord, I'm, a, I'm in Bismarck, North Dakota. You know, I'm in Livonia, Michigan. I'm all over the world now uh, while uh, Nina is uh, sitting home and uh, cutting parsnips in the backyard. <laughs> Sending, send the checks. Send the checks, right? She always goes with me. So do you get at home to Cincinnati much? Northern Kentucky? You bet. No. Live in Northern Kentucky. Oh, you're down? Okay. Yeah, we've lived there for 34 years, and that's been our home base. Mm -hmm. And that's where the kids graduated from high school, and so we still live there. Right. It's great. All right, and I understand your son was in town recently, correct? By a man by the name of George Clooney. Maybe you folks know him, and for a move, shooting a movie at you Miami University. Making a movie? That's right, down around Cincinnati and at Miami and in Northern Kentucky called The Ides of March. It's a, a political thriller, so it'll be, it'll, ought to be fun. Okay. Are you in it? Oh, good Lord, no. <laughs> no. You now, you're the guy, come on now, be on. How about a part for Dad? Yeah, he's he's seen me act. It's all over. You know, forget about it. No, 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 Pop. Just stay away. I'll, uh, uh, you know, let's have dinner, but let's not talk about doing anything in front of the camera. Please don't. It is super to see you. And quickly before we wrap up here, what what, what are you? You're gonna lecture. You're on the lecture series. What do you talk about? Don't you, don't you love lecture? <laughs> me lecturing? <laughs> it doesn't work. Ignorant does. as, as oh, no, I, I uh, ignorant as a stump. But I will talk about movies. <laughs> oh, and the reason is because I'm old, you know, and I've uh, been around so long. I can I can actually talk about those because I saw Gone with the Wind when it was just a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we need rim shots, guys. We're in the backstage of the Schuster. Here we need rim shots. Well, listen, welcome back home. I guess you're back home with us. I am back home. This is a great part of the world. Dayton's always been one of those great towns. You know, we always thought of it as the young town. We in Cincinnati were kind of older and stodgier, you know, and Columbus was kind of a political. And, uh, and it, we, we loved Dayton. It was a good town. Nick, thank you very much. You bet. Take care. Who's, why is this phone, whose phone is ringing for crying out? Hello. Pardon me, guys. Yeah. Who? G George Clooney. Right. Yeah, this is George Clooney. Yeah. Hi, George. This is Brad Pitt. <laughs> George Clooney. Who hey, 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 clown. Look at that. You just hung up on my retirement plan. Uh, Jim Booker, two news on your side. Oh, that may have been.